Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Vicious. Later today is going to be marking the first day for the Guild Wars 2 beta events. I'm sure you're very excited about it, and so am I. And because of that, I thought I would stop in today and give you guys a tutorial that might make your Guild Wars 2 gaming a lot more enjoyable. Everybody I know, including myself, uses Steam mostly for their gaming. Not just to purchase their games and play the games, but also it works as communication. We always end up messaging each other through the Steam client. It does voice chat, it does a lot of different things. And the first time that you start to play a new game such as Guild Wars 2 that is not part of Steam, you might run into a problem because you'll have messages coming in your way and you have to tap out of your game to go look at those messages. Well, believe it or not, if you didn't know, there's actually a way to add Steam to non-Steam games so that you can still use your Steam client the way you normally would. And if you didn't know how to do it, that's what today's tutorial is all about. I'm going to show you how to set this up and how it works. So I got Steam already open, and I'm just going to go to Games, and I'm going to add a non-Steam game to my library. Hit Browse, and I've already gone to where I have my Guild Wars 2 EXE, which is the beta client. I'm just going to add that. Click on Add Selected Programs. And now it's here in my Steam library. All my games are here, and I have the new one called GW2, which is Guild Wars 2. And it tells you it's a non-Steam mod or shortcut, but that's okay. When you click play and you launch it through Steam, it's going to open up now the familiar Shift Plus tab will work just as if it does if this was a Steam game. So you can get all of your chat messages right here in the game, all of your friends, whether they're online or not. The other neat thing is if all your other friends are going to do the same thing and add Guild Wars 2 to their non-Steam list, then you can tell if they're in game or not as well. So right now all my friends on Steam are going to see Vicious is inside of GW2 and they're going to know what that is. So guys, that was the tutorial. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you guys next time.